Welcome back. So there's this moon image that seems to be getting a lot of attention lately. Starting with an epic Reddit post that's led to many videos, articles, and even a response from Samsung. Being a mobile photography channel, I have a different angle on this. First, let's cover the backstory. It seems like many people are just now learning about Samsung's scene optimizer which is the culprit behind the fake image. See, Scene Optimizer has always been an AI feature that attempts to make reality better than it is. The feature has actually been around for at least four years. I remember trying it on the Note 9 and I immediately turned it off because it gave my flower images unrealistically vivid colors. Check out the Samsung website that describes how it worked on the Note 9. It literally applied optimized colors to the detected scene. Also notice all the different types of scenes that it was trained to detect. Night is just one of them. This feature has naturally become more powerful over the last four years, and now it can also enhance details using AI. The AI is trained on reference images, including the moon, and can apply that detail whenever it detects the object in the scene. Anyone taking photography seriously will likely keep scene optimizer disabled. Which is why I'm surprised the tech YouTubers didn't know about this already. This feature was never good, but for the average person that just wanted an impressive result, it seemed to work fine. I remember a coworker raving about how his food shots instantly looked better, even if it didn't look like food anymore. Anyway, let's talk about the core issue here. Smartphone photography is covered in AI, and people are generally cool with it. An example is portrait mode where the phone is literally adding fake blur to an otherwise sharp image. That blur was never there. It's manufactured based on AI detecting the subject and then adding blur around it. So what is unique about this moon fiasco? Well, honestly, I think it was just too good and it fooled a ton of people into believing it was real. If these tech influencers were fooled, the general public definitely was also. And we all know that people don't like to be fooled. The real issue is that it wasn't obvious scene optimizer was active and it doesn't help that it's enabled by default and many people don't even know that it exists. But then again, it's right there here at the top of the list in settings. So what is the solution here? Well, I think the answer lies with the Note 9. See back then it was obvious when scene optimizer was kicking in. Samsung just needs to be more transparent about these AI features and let people decide for themselves. Treat it like portrait mode and never enable it by default. And if you're interested in mobile photography content like this, you should definitely consider subscribing, as that's what this channel is all about. Let me know what you think about this drama. I'm very curious to see what Samsung does in the next software update. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.